Let's skip the intro. We have Harley Quinn, Season 1, Episode 3, so you need a crew. Let's go. Oh, yeah, I can only say two things. Okay, so we're already starting off with an action scene. It obeys gluten, huh? And the other one. <laughs> what is she trying to steal? Oh damn, look at that, Harley Quinn feet. So if anyone wants Harley Quinn feet pics, well, there you go. Yes. Oh god, are you shitting me? <laughs> Joker. Hell yeah, Joker. Well, it was. Okay, that's pretty smart. So Joker, since he has a crew, he has like three people to open it. That makes sense. But it's mine now. The only reason you're getting this and I'm not is you got a bunch of goons that do whatever you yep, say. That's, that's not true. true. That is true. Throw Harley out. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked. Fucking crew. No, you need a shower. I agree with Ivy. You do need a shower. Like all real super villains. I mean, I get by just fine on my own, so. <coughs> That's because you're badass, Ivy. Quite inspiring. Oh, can it, Frank? I love you, Ivy. You know, I've, I could have really used your help out there. Honestly, like, I, I really think that uh, crews are overrated. You know, it's like some very successful super villains work alone. Like, you know what? Ivy does make a point. I mean, she doesn't have a crew and she does just fine. Look at, look at this guy. Look at Dr. Psycho. Perfect example. Doesn't have a crew yet, still taking on Wonder Woman like a champ. Okay, that's pretty cool that he's just tossing cars at her. I actually don't know much about Dr. Psycho. Is he like an A list villain for Wonder Woman or a B list or a C list? Like, I really know nothing about Wonder Woman villains. Still too scared to fight me with your own hands, Psycho. What a grand idea! <laughs> oh. Sorry, what's that? Do you really want your last word to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. <gasps> oh, I cannot believe he just said that. <laughs> he stopped the world. Damn. Holy shit. Well, see, if he'd had a crew, they would have told him to use the B word instead. And if yeah, that's messed up. You can't be saying the C word. He should have said the B word instead. He's gonna get canceled. I had one. I'd use that warhead to blackmail Gotham into naming a highway after me. Huh, a highway. All right. Well, you know, that took a weird turn. <laughs> What's wrong with a highway? <sighs> hmm. So you're certain this whole c thing's gonna blow over, right? Eh? Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. A few talk show appearances. <laughs> cry about how you love your wife. I love how these super exactly villains have their own like agents. When he exposed himself at the Gotham Water Park. Mm -hmm. You guys fix that? I mean, I think if villains existed, you know, in the real world, like super villains, I think they would need to have like you know managers to prevent them from getting canceled. And you are not our most valuable asset. Wow, you're good. And by good, I mean bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, too oh, much. Come on. Miss Gwen, we've been expecting you. Thank you. Let's get you henched up. That's Kronk. He's muscle. Kronk. If you don't mind crazy roid rage, he's your man. Kronk? Is that supposed to be like Kronk from the Emperor's New Groove? And the professor, he's brainy. So smart. Professor. Not brainy with names, though, huh? Uh, oh my god, so <laughs> That's true. Meet Blaze. Explosive. Blaze, really? A lot of chatter. A <laughs> lot of heat. <laughs> yes, and if you don't take him today, he'll have seven offers tomorrow. Goodbye. Hell, I'll take them all. I'll crush. You know what? Honestly, I take Blaze. I fuck with Blaze. That's a pretty badass name. Joker with this team behind me. I. I'm sorry, I thought you were his girlfriend. No, I dumped that bum weeks ago. You didn't go back to him? Yeah, like you always do. <laughs> no, no, I'm on my own Oh, so, when... damn. The shade. But that's true, though. Harley usually does go back to Joker. When can these guys start? Oh, I'm sorry. These men are unavailable. 
For how long? For ever? Yeah. Yeah, forever. Well, I don't need ya. I don't need any of ya. I'll put together my own crew who's excited to work with a real up and comer. If you get back together with Joker, our doors are always open. That's fucked up, man. I mean, let Harley have a crew. Hey, 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 you! Are you tired of being a lousy sidekick? Abused, shit on, used as a human shield? Then come work for me. <laughs> You'll get top dollar, great benefits. And I will ever, knowingly, send you to your death! <laughs> Wait, was she talking about a job where we don't have to jump into hell portals and definitely die? Oh, just shut up and jump. You know what, that sounds fair. I'd work for Harley, especially with the benefits. It's hard to find, you know, a decent job with benefits nowadays. Oh, I'm definitely dying! I promise you it'll be better than that. Join me and we'll be doing million dollar heist in no time. Who's with me? Can't. Where's he? I got a family emergency. Uh, I, 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 I have a thing. <laughs> what? Assholes. No, 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 no. Before you open your female trap, no way. Ooh, dang. Already with the sexism. Hey, in hell, I'm working for you. Who asked you? <laughs> you really well, ma'am, I don't know nothing about that. Just outside of Muskogee. What's your problem, weirdo? Why, miss, I don't have no problem because I am actually... Jeez. Oh, oh, Good fucking God. The name is Clayface. This being extraordinaire recently portraying oh, the Clayface. juicy role of country boy bartending in the big city. I thought you were playing... I don't know much about Clayface except from Batman the Animated Series. Um... I thought he was an okay villain, but, I mean, he's definitely, like, a B-tier villain, I think, personally. In the role of literal piece of shit. Not yet. Look to my hair. No! I'm a literal piece of shit. Okay! Oh, that was a good burn. I gotta hand it to Clayface. That was a good one. Ah! Is it Clayface or Foxy? Hey, Kite Man! Here, think about doing Hell game yeah, plan. kite man. Not sure what might steal some, might kidnap somebody. I don't know. Uh, depending on the weather, but uh, kite will be involved. Who's in? I oh, am. Let's go. Let's go. I do not <laughs> believe this. And then Damn. They all off with so the henchmen like kite man more than Harley. That's messed up. They're they're dirty for doing Harley like that. Kite man. Yeah. The loser that guy is. Did he mention my name? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Dang, I guess Ivy caught feelings for Kite Man. But did he? There must be something I'm missing. How do I get people to work for me? She has no fucking idea. Because plants do all this shit for her lazy ass. <laughs> There must be someone who can give me the inside scoop. Babe, what real supervillain is going to give away their trade secrets? Well, maybe not give away. Okay, so I don't really know who Maxi Zeus is. Like, as far as DC goes, I only know, like, the Batman stuff. So, and a little bit of Superman. So I'm not too familiar with Maxi Zeus. God damn, look at those nipples. They're big. I am Maxi Zeus, and tonight, I Max all your dreams come true this guy's such a dude oh, i'm sorry but none of the charming villains with great personalities were holding seminars today joker Riddler, two-face what do they have that you don't a penis a crew a villain. you know what he's pretty good at doing presentations though he actually has a good stage presence so how does one recruit goons through a henchman agency or from popular ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, the juggalo in the third row. Uh, uh, Mr. Zeus, <laughs> I tried those things. <laughs> oh my god. He's dirty for calling her that. A juggalo? That's funny. Damn. Does anyone actually remember juggalos? Is that still a thing? Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't know you were busy. No, no, come in. Just letting my legs breathe. You were so inspiring. If you don't mind, I just, I got a couple questions. And I've got one big answer. Sexy music. Wow. Dang. It's like one of those paintings, you know, where the eyes follow you, except, nope, it's just your greased up nipples. Is it between <laughs> us? I painted it. Shh. Weird. So, hey, I was wondering if you just give me some pointers. Well, I can certainly give you one. Oh, yikes. 
Gross. Ah, got it. So you're just a creepy dick. Respects, Harley. I'm not fucking you. Oh, Respects. really? You were Respects, left out Harley. of UTI. Yeah, word gets around. You'll never get a crew because no bad guy will ever work for a woman. My two cents. Then here's my... Why is it like that? Damn. Fine. See a urologist because <laughs> creepy dick wasn't just an insult. It was a concern. And if no bad guy will work with me, uh. then maybe I don't need a bad guy. With your ability to control all plant life on Earth and my gymnastics, I mean, there's nothing we can't do if we team up. I said no. I mean, I, I got a brand, you know? It's like adding gymnastics to it. It's all of a sudden, it's, it's a very muddled Harley. message. <laughs> uh, the real so Ivy doesn't want to team up with Harley because she doesn't like gymnastics. Reason, you lying motherfucker. <sighs> uh. Here we go. All right. So, look, there's a glass ceiling for female supervillains, okay? Like, sure, we're tolerated, but as long as we don't get too powerful. Aren't you being a little dramatic? Guess who's naive at? Damn. That cut's pretty deep. It's just like the real world. Queen of fables. Fed up by being a footnote to the male supervillains, she decided to turn Gotham into an evil forest by using sorcery to pull characters from the pages of storybooks. Until she had a whole army at her command. Huh, that's interesting. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. Hey, I'm looking for the Queen of Fables. You just found us, sweetie. Now, what are you looking up there for? <laughs> How do you go from being a supervillain to an accountant for taxes? Damn, she fell off hard. This bullshit. I've got 20 minutes till my next appointment. What's up? Uh, hey, my name's Harley Quinn. I'm a new supervillain, and I was told I should ask what happened to you. <clears throat> All right, buckle up, honey. It <laughs> Why is a book smoking? It's story time. So there I was with my crew. A bunch of dumb storybook things. When the heroes showed up, oh, it was a whole... Damn. Damn. Holy shit, man, they're not fucking around. No, 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 there is no way Superman did that. I exaggerate to add flavor. Okay, that's some pretty good flavor, because Superman was pretty badass in that. But the truth is, they punished me in a way no one has ever been punished. <laughs> Instead of throwing me into Arkham like any male villain, they came up with this bullshit. <laughs> I mean, a guy robs a bank, he's a criminal mastermind. Woman robs a bank, she's a crazy bitch. Exactly. <laughs> Think about it. A male super Damn, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty messed up. As long as you don't get bigger than them. Yeah, you get it. And your ambition won't just hurt you, it'll hurt the people you care most about. Birthday cake for the boss at four. Thanks, Mark. God, I hate this place. But at least I'm not on the streets turning tricks for cash anymore. I wonder who exactly would want to, like, buy out a freaking gingerbread, though. The fable's pretty fun, right? Oh, she was pretty bleak. Before I left, she was like, I have to use the bathroom. There, I did it. Did you send me to her because you think I can't do this? No, Harley, I sent you there because I know that you can. Look, I, I, just, I just wanted you to know what you're up against, you know, because I, uh, I love you. Don't make a thing of it. <laughs> Okay, that tree, tree hug? Okay, that tree hugger shirt Ivy's wearing goes pretty hard. I appreciate your warning, but what Queen of Fables made me realize is if I want a crew, I shouldn't be looking for scumbags who believe in me. I should be looking for scumbags no one else believes in. Right, okay. So, 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 that was the takeaway from the chain smoking book and the trick turning cookie? I still think it's crazy that a freaking cookie's turning tricks, though. Yeah, and I know just where to start. Welcome back. We I have think the here, concept uh, of supervillains appearing on top of the show is, is just funny. Like, Using what the, the hell? Do they really have that much free time? <laughs> them no one on god's green earth respects women like this one no i know i know J also is dr psycho and gigantica actually a thing in the comics or is that just for the show just curious did y'all hear her say right <laughs> she was talking to me mm -hmm. an individual person who exists outside of you Good girl. 
get a person who, for years, you mind control. Don't do this. Into you go, girl. Yep. You. Do this. A person who is leaving you. Why you get back here, you miserable? Oh, damn. He said it again. He's definitely getting canceled. Holy shit. <laughs> he just became like the least employable person on earth. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Imagine losing your supervillain career because you said the C word. So, you know, I thought, hey, maybe you should join me and my crew. <laughs> join you? I'm in the big leagues, mama. The L-O-D. The Legion of Doom. Hard pass. We cannot condone Dr. Psycho's use of the C word, as it does not represent our brand of evil. <laughs> we hereby banish him <laughs> doom. I love how the supervillains can just, like, go on the news and make a speech and no one does anything. Like, they're not being arrested, they're just letting Lex, like, you know, do his thing. That's funny. What is their brand of evil? Legion of Doom Europe and the Junior oh Doomers God. of America. Did I say hard pass? That's funny. Priorities. It's okay to like do evil things and kill people, but God forbid you say the C word. I'm in soft except I want to join your crew. Not because I think working for a female will help rehabilitate my ruined image, blah, 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 blah. It's for other reasons. I don't hate women! Kind of seems like you do. Yeah, it does. Salty language that comes out of your mouth. Well, I'm just glad my mama Jean ain't allowed to hear it. Even hot southern bartender character thinks you're a piece of shit. <laughs> but I believe in you, and I think you have a part to play. Did you say a part? Then you must also require the services of... Oh, oh fuck, not again. An actor! You're damn right I do. You, me, and Psycho. This is gonna be the start of something sh You know what? That's actually not a bad crew, because Clayface can, like, make weapons with his clay, and, uh, Dr. Psycho has psychic powers, so honestly, that's not bad, because Harley really doesn't have any powers at all, so, so far, that's actually a pretty solid crew. Huge. So what's our first evil scheme? Is it a nuke and a volcano? There's an evil scheme. Ooh, an uncle, no, no, a honeypot heist where I seduced Gotham's mayor with my saucy Sheila character. How do you feel about petty, personal vendettas? <laughs> Oh my god, even a statue has his dick exposed. Who dares disturb a living god after 9 p.m.? Here's your mail, Dad. Dad? Years ago, you met Mama in a piano bar and knew you. Okay, Clayface, you need to chill. You're just supposed to deliver the mail. She might have been from the wrong side of the tracks, but she was on the right side of your heart. <laughs> fuck is he doing? I'm done. It's really you. <laughs> I'm done too, Dr. Psycho. I, I thought I'd lost you forever after Piano Bar Janet said she took care of it. Oh, she tried. But it didn't take. Of course it didn't. For you are half God. Aww, that's actually pretty wholesome. So, who do you need me to mind control to open the door? No, no, no one. Just, uh, just squeeze in the crawl space, get in the house, and open it from the inside. Are you shitting me? I'm a genius telepath. Why are you wasting me? Okay, damn, the disrespect on that. Yeah, I'm this. You're the only thing small enough to fit. Son of a bitch! Oh. Wow, and I'm an egomaniac. Yeah. Jesus Christ, look at all those dicks. What the hell? This looks about right. Where the fuck does he keep those stupid medals? Easy. He said he literally sleeps on a pile of gold. And then after getting the Medal of Honor in war, I toured the world playing ping pong. What a remarkable journey your life has been. And so oddly similar to that of Forrest Gump. <laughs> Forrest Gump. It is rather strange you don't share your mother's brilliant blue eyes. <laughs> okay, that was good. My mistake, I guess. Trick of the light. Although I don't know how you avoided her family proclivity for... Hunchback? Gold medals. What the hell? Oh my Son, god. you are the spitting image of your mother. I'm so glad you think so, Daddy. Uh. But it's so fancy suffering from a lisp. Oh, you lying piece of... You know what? I actually didn't think Maxi Zeus was that smart to actually outsmart him like that. That was actually pretty clever. 
Although it shouldn't have taken that long to figure it out, but still. Shit! Do you really think I'd fall for this? <laughs> I kind of thought he'd fall for it too until he like became a hunchback with a lisp. You work for monstrosity, Joker! Oh no, you didn't! Wait, 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 wait! Don't emasculate him, Riddler! No, 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 no! He's about to rally. I can feel it. The Penguin! Ooh. Tell me who you work for, creature, or the next blow will be a killing one. He works for me, you oily bitch! Well, if it isn't the girl I chose not to have sex with. I think it's funny how guys always say, Oh, I chose not to have sex with you, and they're the ones who got rejected. Regrettably, you're too late, I'm afraid. <laughs> Psycho. Hi, dickhead. Just drop the list. I wish I could, but I bit my tongue. Ha! You said no woman could ever get a crew of bad guys. Well, I didn't just get bad guys. I got two of the fucking worst. You call that a crew? You know what? But honestly, that's really not a bad crew. I mean, like, Clayface can't really be hurt that easily, and he can, like, you know make his body into weapons, and Dr. Psycho has psychic powers. I mean, that's a pretty solid crew. One chance to tell the world Harley Quinn's crew ain't nothing to fuck with. Or what? Oh, damn. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fine! I'll say it! Oh, I know you will. God, they knocked him out. For villain, Maxi Zeus was found beaten this morning. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Mr. Zeus? I like how she goes to interview him after he just got his ass beat. How, how, how did this happen? Who did this terrible thing to you? All I can say is, Harley Quinn's crew ain't nothing to fuck with. Sounds like Harley yeah, Quinn, the former damn. of the Joker, is striking out on her own. Holy fucking shit, Harls, you did it. I would <laughs> have seen that coming it's been 30 long gotta give props to harley man long years since a female villain had a crew when the queen of fables tried to smash through that glass ceiling but was imprisoned in the u.s tax code by the justice league because they're bitches but i'll be dead <laughs> oh he's actually going for it. one thing's for sure the hell yeah may uh oh become his biggest oh enemy. shit <laughs> damn well of course the Joker would get pissed off at it. You know, congratulations. I mean, I know gold medals aren't an... I still don't get why Joker's, like, so obsessed with Harley, like, you know, doing her own thing. Nuclear warhead, but, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Oh, no, I got a warhead. I traded the gold medals for it. Get out of town. Where is it? I'll use it to blackmail the city, just like I said I would. Hey, y'all, it's me again. This just in. We take you live to a high-speed chase on the abruptly renamed Harley Quinn Parkway. I'll be fucking damned. Totally worth it. Right? <laughs> All right. That's the end of that episode. Not a bad episode. I enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching.